what are the best masks for bird flu? Well, they're going to be respirator-grade masks, ones that filter particulates really well and that fit you really well. And that last one is super important. You can't get the full benefit of really good filter media if the air, the unfiltered air, just goes around the mask and under the filter and into your respiratory system. So fit is super important. Now, some of you are probably asking, do respirators really work on virus particles? They're super tiny. Well, yes, yes they do. Scientists are smart and they just cut to the chase. They used actual viruses to test a bunch of N95 and other masks. And every single one of the N95s they tested filtered the test virus at 99.8% or better. So yes, they really do work. Now, it's important that you get good fit and not every respirator is as good at fitting people on average as every other respirator. The 3M Aura is so good that it fits most but not all adults well enough to pass a fit test. That's really useful. Now, these are flat folding. This, uh, they are sold individually wrapped. Plus, you can get them at Amazon, Home Depot, a bunch of other places. So, a great uh, first mask to give a try. Now, not everyone fits those masks, so it's good to have alternatives like this 3M V-Flex. This mask is a duckbill, super flexible for talking in, very breathable, and it comes in a small size, which is super important because not everyone has a medium or a large face. Now, speaking of sizes, especially small sizes, these Zimmies come in a lot of small sizes. And uh, that can really be useful for people who have smaller faces or different facial features. These are a premium KN95 respirator grade mask. They have an air impermeable cloth gasket on the back to help it fit better. And some come with head loops, some come with ear loops. Don't normally recommend ear loops, but on this mask, they can work pretty well. Now, as of December 2024, California has declared a state of emergency for bird flu. The CDC has given guidance for workers in the industry because right now it's being spread between animals and from animals to humans. Uh, and it might turn into human to human, and that would be a big problem. Uh, it can be inhaled. It can also be through surface contact. And that's one reason why a respirator can be extra handy. It not only protects you from inhaling viruses, it also keeps you from accidentally touching your face and mouth with contaminated hands. So that's an extra benefit. Uh, same goes for wearing eye protection, helps keep your fingers away from your eyes. So keep in mind that you need more than just a respirator for bird flu, but the best approach is to stay away from places where you know that it might be occurring, such as in a dairy, uh, sick or injured wild animals, especially birds.